My name is Xavier and welcome uh, to an extract for a scientist, a very important one. Grabbing this scientist would mean that we can actually heal people in the AWC that will be built in just a few days. Uh, so this is a very light mission. Tactically speaking, I need to get there. It doesn't look that hard. I have 20 turns according to this timer, so this is a, a sizable map, meaning the pods are probably well spread out between me and the objective here. Uh, so I think I'm gonna move up. Not all the way, but rather up to here and get a, an idea of what's out there. Answer, nothing. All right, let's move up to here. This is kind of dicey. Remember where these two guys are. In case I lose sight of them, they're right there. Uh, nothing. Okay, so so far, so good. Let's bring Josh up here now. I basically started with the strategic overview, which was that I need the scientist for the AWC healing. Also, I really want them to help speed up the lasers if they're not doing the AWC healing, but I want to get Macronova out as fast as possible. He's in there for like, what, three more weeks at least? So, alright. Let's see what goes on. We overwatch, we see... Nothing. Two civilians there, that's fine. Is there a civilian down here inside? As far as we know, it looks like no. So let's go over here then. Right up the middle with Russell. Oh, saw something. Whoa, I saw everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the whole map right there. Pretty much. I guess it technically could be another pod of two or two solo drones someplace. But I saw another guy right there as well. So this being the case, keep in mind now, we, uh, we're all visible. Oh, look at that. There's some civilians right down there I didn't see. They could have blown my concealment on that move, and that would have been a really, really rough mission. So what I want to do now, reinforcements are already coming. There's no sense in, like, dilly-dallying or trying to sneaky-sneak. Why don't I pull something that's most likely to not hear this sniper rifle? And let's get an idea of what that might be. So... These guys here are very, very likely to hear a sniper rifle at this point. It's not suppressed. So maybe I should pull them. Then again, these guys, eh, they might not hear the sniper rifle. And I could kill the sentry over there. I'm kind of thinking maybe I don't need to kill this pod because they might be wandering off. Uh, but, uh, if, uh, but if I shoot these ones and these guys hear me... Hmm. This is where had I actually counted the tiles and paid attention. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Pretty sure... I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna hear. They're like one tile out of vision range. Yeah, like two tiles. They're gonna hear this sniper rifle. So let's just activate on that sentry, because I hate sentries. And <laughs> all that time I spent thinking about this, and I don't have a shot because of this roof on the sentries, and I also don't have a shot on this guy here because of this tree. So do I overwatch, then, is the, is the next question. And I'm pretty sure the answer to that question is yes. Let's move up to this corner here with Vince, make sure we don't misclick. It's, it. it's probably not gonna be worth it, Vince. It's probably not gonna be worth it. And then I'm feeling like the smart move is, since we know where most of this stuff is, how are we gonna get the scientists up here? Right, uh... Can I see the elevation points? Right here on the right. That's the elevation point right there. So let's bring the scientists all the way out. Nuna Hyatt. We'll, we'll run him out to this uh, statue there. He's not going to get spotted unless there's a... Oh, God, there's more! I just activated! I see them! Holy mother of heavens! There's a lot of stuff on this map! I did not expect that. I really thought there was going to be a solo drone or something. Okay. Well... This is very bad. At least we have shots on them, but they're really terrible. We have a 41 and a 41 with Joss. Or Josh, rather. That is so hard for me to, to get that right. And we already moved Vince up so he can't throw a grenade. Amaril could launch out a rocket there, destroy the cover. Then we're going to have a lot of noise. Already, right off the bat, I'm feeling like this is not the best start to a mission I've ever seen. Uh, we'll be alright, though. Let's bring Zera over here. And then let's area suppress both these guys. I think with them locked down like that, the smart move here... Oh, now? Somehow, now, 
Josh does have a shot at this guy. I would have shot him to start the turn and left the scientist there if I had had that shot before. But the, the shot just didn't show up for some reason. I don't understand why, because I had direct line of sight here with Russell, but I don't know, whatever. Okay, well, with this as it is, none of us are flanked ever so slightly. I mean, actually, technically, no, none of us are flanked. They're going to have to move, so let's just go full Overwatch, and we'll see what happens. These guys hear the gunfire, they move. They don't activate, though. These guys hear the gunfire, they move. Don't activate, they're running away. Nuna just takes a 22% shot there and misses. This guy runs the Overwatch. Zera, go to town, friend. Ooh! Josh and Nera shuts down that sentry absolutely perfectly. Okay, I can deal with this. This isn't bad. Now, let's move back out here again. I want to get line of sight wherever the heck that pod went. Um, here maybe with Russell? There, perfect. I see them, and one of them is exposed, the other one is not. No, 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 Russell, don't shoot. Don't don't press the wrong buttons. No more misclicks this campaign. No more. 56 on a trooper and a 41. You seriously, once again, I don't have line of sight. How do I have line of sight on this trooper, but not that officer? What? Uh, let's look at this for a second. From Josh's position, Okay, right. So I can see the guy in the front, but not the one in the back. Really? Is that a thing? If I move the scientist again, will I see him? Like, what is up with this game? Why make my snipers always not good game? Uh, I'm not sure what the smart play is here. This thing we can't destroy with a, with a rookie grenade. I don't want to activate more than one pod. This pod, I think, is actually not on alert. Is it smart to keep suppressing the sectoid? I mean, the sectoid can still shoot. It's still getting 20% shots. I'm not sure what the smart move here is. I really, really, really am not. Well, if I take this 56% and we miss, we're not going to activate. And if I hit, he's going to die. So I think we should do it. Josh of Ross, a please 56%, the Advent Trooper. Like a big boss? Or just miss. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. They, apparently he dodged the shot, but he has no idea that he did it. He's, he's just like, yep, whatever. Zera now has no shot over here on the sectoid. We need to move to get in position to have one. I want to make sure where I move, we're not going to pull anything. We can come down here. These civilians are going to run away, but that's fine. And then we'll also have elevation, or not elevation, uh, high cover, rather. No According to this, we're not going to activate. And we did not activate. We do have line of sight. 29% will shut down that sectoid again. I'm going to move over here a little bit with Amaril. No idea really what to do. Just Overwatch. I feel like I just, I'm, I'm stuck and I don't have any options. I'm going to have to fight everything in the map. So let's fall back with the Nuna. And then just Hunker. That'll convert his shot into a 0%. That's fine. And Vince Overwatch. All right. These guys, they come up. They activate. They definitely want the donuts. They're in the high cover. They're in the high cover. They're in alert, so they're going to get reaction shots. Sectoid, you're going to resurrect a zombie. No surprise there. This is turning out to be a lot more challenging already than I would have liked. Well, given the situation, there's only one correct move. Rockets ahoy. Let's just get rid of these guys. All their cover. Take it out. No safer way to do it. No easier way to do it. Oh, for God's sakes, Amaral, what is with your rockets? I guess you do have a horrendously low aim, so I shouldn't be surprised there. Uh, what does uh, Josh have now? 86, 86, 41, 41. These are all terrible. I'm going to go for that 86 on the officer, though, because that's the best bet. A poof. Holy mother of heavens, that looked like it hurt. At this point, we can probably hollow target, but the question is what? What do we want a hollow target? I have no idea, to be honest. I need to start taking out the sectoid. I need to take that guy out as well. I could move up to the tile where Russell is and maybe have a go at him with a grenade, but probably not. The other option is to bring Zera up here to tank. I, I definitely want to do that. Let's get her right in the thick of things. She does have combatives, and that's a zombie. This looks like a smart move to me. We have a 78 on the zombie, 31, 29. Unfortunately, she's one ammo short. 
So I can't suppress now. But I think that was a good move. All in all. Let's take a 59 on the zombie to make sure it doesn't have the mobility. Ah, then again, the, the sectoid come up, could come up and flank. So let's move Vince down here instead. We'll throw a grenade at the sectoid. We'll apply some red fog. we got to weaken it up some point. Or we won't quite hit it. All right, never mind. In this case, let's hit the zombie. 69%. Bit of red fog won't hurt. Great. And next up. I guess I could have hollow targeted, but I'm not sure if I want to hollow target or if I want to reload because I only have that one ammo left. And I'm pretty sure the answer here is 31%. That's, that's Overwatch with Zera. She does have combat uh, awareness. And let's reload with Josh. And I think what I'm going to do with Russell is actually move all the way up here. I want to get an idea of where that other pod is. There they are. It looks like they're on their way back. That scares me. All right, let's come back here then. I'm mostly just going to hang out here. We'll hunker again. We're three turns into the mission. I haven't even moved out of the spawn yet. What is this? Is this an off-screen zombie? Off-screen sectoid in yellow alert resurrecting. I can see the trooper up there on the roof. So the sectoid must be there in a pod with that guy. These guys are now moving in. They still have not activated yet. Zera, Overwatch, swinging a hit. Zombie's dead. No problem. I wanted to Overwatch that thing, but of course zombies always move first. Sectoid moves over and oh no. Oh no, don't do mind control. That's okay. I can live with that. Uh, that is a little bit less livable. But hey, she was already panicked, so who cares? What's the deal over here now? Josh has 86 on the zombie. I'm so sick of this. Why is it all zombies? Have line of sight on something. When will I ever get line of sight? All right, 56%. Josh, Advent Trooper, death room above. You missed the last one, but will you miss this one? Nope, but somehow, with your sniper rifle, you manage to graze him, and he does not die. If I move up here, very good likelihood of activating. I can't move here with Russell because we'll get spotted. Uh, leaving us just Amaryl. What's the shot chance? 37. That's horrendous. I also feel like I have to move up here. Uh, to avoid these guys coming in and getting a flank on them, so that's what we'll do. Reinforcements have hit the yellow alert, so we're, we're dealing with them coming in soon. Let's rouse this guy and pray that this works. We don't have any other options. And let's come... or that, or I, I guess I could throw a grenade, but... I kind of need those grenades to deal with other stuff, so let's do this. Let's move Vince over here. We'll go on Overwatch. I think this is a smart move. And then we'll come over here and we'll roust Amaryl with this guy. Hit him for one or two. Roust is fixed now. So, it, yeah, there we go. Roust for three. That's higher than I've ever seen it ever before. So that's pretty good. And then let's get ready for a massive stab on a zombie or something. We'll come over here with Russell. And that's about probably the most we can do uh, with him. We'll Overwatch. And then it only makes sense to move up here with Nunya. And Hunker? Am I even able to get in there? I mean, here comes these guys. They come into the Overwatch. Vince swinging a hit for two. Great, that shuts down his reaction shot. Or at least his yellow alert, alert action shot. The sentry's over there. That's a bit of a challenge. Here comes a gunner. Or not a gunner, a zombie uh, officer, rather. We'll fast forward. Oh, he's spotted. All right, that's fine. I was going to break concealment this turn anyway. You get a free reaction shot on him. Four damage. Fantastic. High roll. And this thing goes into Overwatch. Okay. This, not all is lost. I mean, this is not going well, but not all is lost. 41% with Josh. Wonderful. Death room above. Uh, yep. 100%. This is the best. Well, there's one way I can take care of probably both of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's if I run up here and burninate them both. Let's do it. Emerald, you're up. We gotta start making an aggressive advance now. We push all these civilians out of the way. I hate them. We'll pop up Fortify, and then we'll toss a flamethrower at both of them perfectly, hitting both of their tiles, because somehow we're stepping backwards? Sure, I'll take it. Emerald, double burnination, please! Hit one, hit two. One is burning, and two is not, but he's on a tile that's on fire, I think. So he's probably going to catch fire when he moves, so they're both dealt with effectively. Uh, at this point, we've really got to get over here... I don't know where that other pod is, but uh, we, we can't mess around with this for too much longer. So let's take Zera. Let's pop a reload. 
Let's suppress away that overwatch on the sectoid. Bring in the pain. At this point, I feel like Vince is gonna have to move up. I kinda wanna grab that loot, but I also kinda don't care about it at the same time. Did we activate? Surprisingly, no. Okay, let's toss out a grenade on the sectoid and his cover. Oh, I missed- well, I guess I hit the cover to the right at the last second. Well, we hit the guy for five, so that's- that's quite good. Josh has a 71 over here, or a 41. I'd like to take that 41, but someone's gonna have to kill this zombie. I guess we can give up the loot then. And it's not that big of a deal. We'll come back here with Russell, 83%. He should have no problem executing a zombie. A slice and a dice. Oh, graze for two. Uh, all right, fine, Josh, maybe you can kill a zombie. 71%. Yes, fantastic. Death from above, allowing me to do that. And then, I don't know, I guess we'll hollow target over here. It'd be nice if I could get some stock soon. That was probably a stock right there. I bet it was an elite stock, and I just gave it up. We'll hunker over here. We're really running low. We've got to get a move on. This guy burns. He's done next turn. This guy, he's going to have to move, right? He doesn't have any good shots. This guy does make a run for it. Zara swinging a miss even with the hollow target. That's too bad. 47%. Return fire, 34 to swing and a miss. And if this guy does move, he does burn, he's done. We don't have to worry about him. So both of these guys are murdered by Amaril. Perfect. Yep, they're gonna dance around because they're Skitty McScaredos. And at this point, the time has come. We need to activate. And we need to activate basically. Now, how can we kill that sectoid? Well, Zera can't. Vince can't. I could slice him with Russell, but what if I activate? Russell might need to sh to to go kill people. We're almost certainly going to activate. We need to get closer. We know that much. Let's move up here with Vince. Right, That's I'll this is going to activate. We need to see where they are. There they are. They're exactly where they've been the whole time. They've been sitting there guarding. This is turning into a bit more of a dicey mission than I would have expected or liked. Everything now has high cover. Alright, that's fine. Let's see what we can slice with Russell. The answer is, we don't care about that. That guy's there still, and this guy's over here. Nothing. So uh, where we're at, we only have one option. We're going to take it. 83% Russell. Slice that sectoid into smithereens, as they say. Fantastic. And we grab some loot. Please be elite stock. Elite stock, Russell. Luck of the gods. Well, Lyrium Core, that's pretty good. Alright, these two guys are dealt with. We have a 56 over there, that's no good. Another 41. Wow, Josh and the 41s, huh? What's more important? Trooper, Sectoid we can't kill, or Sentry? Answer, obviously, Sentry. 41% Josh, please go pro. Just go pro. Average roll, cross back, 41. Oh, nope, no good. That's fine. I think what we can do here is move up Zera. To so this location, we can suppress that sentry. That's the most important thing. We might get some Psy nonsense against us, but who cares? Uh, and then we're going to have to bring Amaril over and get him in position next turn to do something. Can we also pull off a flank while we're out here? I could, actually, if I gave up all my cover. I could come out to this bike and get a flank on the trooper, but then I'd be standing there in the open like a doofus. Amaril has 4 HP and 2 ablative. It makes a lot of sense for him to be... Uh, Closer up. Let's go here. Civilians start moving. Do you have any good shots? No, not really. All this stuff is uh, inconsequential. So what I'm going to do here is Overwatch. And then Vince basically reload. And now's the time to start getting the VIP into position. Let's come over here to the high cover. This is everything on the map for sure. What an interesting battle this has been. Line of sight issues, like line of sight blockers. Uh, this guy actually might not die now, because he might roll double one. Extremely low chance of that happening, but hey, who knows. Sectoid's gonna do some nonsense to Amaril. Please don't be mind control. It's mind control. Do we have any ability to kill that Sectoid? Yes, we do. As long as Russell does not get murdered. By a sentry or a trooper or something like that. This guy moves over, flanks Vince, goes for a flank shot. Critical hit for one, that's fine. Body panics, so that's actually not fine. This thing, the sentry shoots at Russell. 13% swing and a miss. Okay. Alright, we got we got this. What, what is this barrel that I can shoot? Oh, well, I guess I could blow that car up if I needed to with Josh. Do we have any decent shots with Josh for once? Uh, nope, all 41s again. So, 
<laughs> yep, great. Well, Russell, flesh the sectoid. You get bonus damage against sectoids at 9 to 11. You hit him, he's dead. It's simple as that. You just gotta hit. Please don't graze. Oh, I forgot about the overwatch from my own guy. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Good job missing there, Amaril. Thank you, we appreciate it. Russell, slice and a dice, we get control of Amaril back. And that turns the camp, or this mission around. Not, not the campaign, per se. Definitely the mission, though. Uh, at this point, we're gonna have to get closer and closer, ever creeping closer, with Zara. However, I'm a little worried about her just dying randomly, so maybe what we should do is heal her up first. Uh, at this point, if I don't start moving Josh, we're gonna be in a world of hurt. So, as much as this is a risky move, I'm gonna actually run up here with him to grab the loot and hope this officer burns for the re final remaining two points. We're not gonna take a shot. We're gonna give up death from above. It's not giving us anything anyway. I am a little, oh, we got, okay, sigh. That we might actually use this campaign. Let's now grab Amaril, who displays no hit points, but if I were to move up here, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Nope, can't quite burninate, but what I can do is move over here and burninate this guy. And it'll actually be easier to do it from okay, this tile and go. burn back. Because if I moved right here, I wouldn't be able to burn his tile. So this way I can burn him and his tile, almost burn guaranteed continue. death. Yep, he's burning, he's dead, no problem. Emerald definitely carrying their weight. So I can... Zedra can dash out in, I think, two turns. My question is, do I move up and suppress with half cover, giving this guy a little bit of a proximity bonus, or... Or... Do I suppress where I am in the half cover and then try to dash out? I think we'll be okay. The first RNF is only a pot of two, so let's do this. Let's pop a... Let's make sure we have line of sight. We do. Let's pop the med kit now. I want to make sure we don't get one shot from that sentry. Then we'll pop a single suppression over here. Looks good. And then let's run... Nuna someplace where she's very unlikely to die, but is very close to evacing. And I'm thinking that's back here, actually. That looks good. We'll flank the, the, the sentry with our scientists. Sure. This guy does indeed die, but he drops some loot, which I'm interested in. But I don't know how I'd get it without s potentially sacrificing someone with the uh, incoming re uh, reinforcements. We'll see here. Zera... Overwatch shot hits for two. That's fine. No flanks. This thing's on overwatch. We got lucky with the reinforcements there. No one came in But we do have an overwatch here with this guy and how can we clear that the answer is we can flashbang with Zetera after a reload That probably makes the most sense if we did that can anyone get in there and kill him? Of course All right, let's do it reload Zetera and then flashbang away is overwatch Holy tactical battlefield for that man. This is quite Quite the interesting thing. Who do I want to get the kill? Russell? Or I'd rather power level Amaril, actually. Let's bring him up. Or, better yet, we could bring him up here and go for an elevation. Elevation shot, pretty good. Maybe he'll get a kill, maybe he won't. We'll see. 71%. Fantastic. He's down. Alright, at this point, we have nothing to worry about, so I am going to come back here with Josh. I am going to grab this loot. Advent data pad, I'm glad that I did, and then let's dash back as fast as we can. And otherwise, I think everyone's good to go. We can just run up here full speed ahead, uh, get some reloads where we can. Nuna, come on up. Looks great. We'll reload. Okay. Well, that got a little dicey there for a minute. 23, 24 minutes for this mission. That's longer than I'm used to for these missions, but at the same time, you can't uh, have them all be perfectly executed easily every time. So Zera over there, dash, run, let's reload with Amaral. I think what we're going to do with a reload with everybody, we'll try to kill that first wave. Because it's only two. And Overwatch all. They're dropping in in a fairly decent place for us. We'll get shots. They're dropping on a roof. So we're going to give up our elevation bonus, unfortunately, because they dropped up high. And actually, it looks like they're just dropping in the middle of the air. Well, now they're on the roof. But they dropped down, giving us an elevation bonus. Thanks, guys. Emerald swing and a miss. Vince, swing and a miss. One more try. Russell, swing and a miss. Well, 
That's not too surprising. <laughs> I mean, they are rookies after all. Do I want to... I could fight them for reinforcement experience, because the reinforcements are green. We do have a little bit of time. I'm actually going to do it. Let's take every advantage we can get this campaign. 83% Russell. If we graze this, though, I'll feel like such a, such a doofus. But these two experiences will help us. Fantastic! God, Russell looks so good. He looks so good. Imagine if I recruit Johnny Maple, and then I could have Russell and Johnny Maple on the same mission, just going, like, side by side every, every single episode. It would be glorious. A glorious sight to behold. Let's bring Zera over here. We'll flank this gunner at a decent range for Zera's range bonus. 76%. Great. Holy mother of heavens. He's dead. Not too shabby. And, uh, yeah. No problem there. I don't really want to farm reinforcements, so I think at this point we're going to try to just get out. Yeah, so it went from green to yellow right away. It'll be, uh, not much longer now. Let's just, just get out. Let's get out. I'm fine with this. What? It looks fine. It looks fine, Zara. Calm down. Everything's fine. All right, everybody out, though. Absolutely. What's over there? Whatever you say. Okay. Well, not quite flawless, but all things considered, a fairly good Operation Satan Destroyer. I don't, that's a little uh, dramatic, I would say. But whatever, it's fine. A mission complete, and it looks like I can even do one more episode today. Fantastic. Eleven days on Vince, very nice, and Zera has 13, not too bad. What's Vince get? He got a specialist. Ooh, very happy about this. Vince can be the new demonstration of the Sentinel Covering Fire Overwatch Specialist Extraordinaire with his 72 aim. His hacking skill is abysmal. I didn't even know specialists could get hacking that's that low. So I'm not going to mind giving up us that sort of stuff with him. And Russell, you sir, 17 mobility, 3 health, 10 dodge. What do I want to do with you, friend? What do I want to do? I am loath to do anything but lone wolf, to be entirely honest. In every scenario, it's fantastic. Let's do it. We got a data pad and a lyrium core. This is all great. Psy, a PCS, and also a VIP scientist. Great. I think for right now, let's assign that scientist. Oh, we don't have the AWC, so we're not going to assign the scientist anywhere. Do we have any missions queued up at all? No. Does this a thing we can do? No. So I guess we just hang out here, and we scan, and that's about it. Oh, strength. Whoa, hold on a second. The strength just moved from Eastern Europe to India, making everything we do over here significantly easier. Rescue VIP scientist extremely light. We only have a day, so we can't do that. Uh, but with this being as it is, I think I want to chill out in India for now, and I also want to st stock or so staff some uh, Some more people. Let's try to staff uh, Felipe over here for now. Let's Allow this region to calm down. We'll go another person on recruit rather than Intel And then we're gonna come over here in Eastern Europe, and we're gonna spend the Avengers time scanning there Eastern Europe because I'd much rather be running missions in a Strength 1 region than a Strength 3 region. They just move one Strength over, so this looks much better to me. It's not like we did anything as far as uh, Liberation here anyway. We just recruited a new Rebel. Yong Zhang Tang. Yong Zhang Tang! That sounds good. Let's go Intel for now. Zero hours, Trooper Corps. Great. Why did I want to do this again? With the Advent Officer Laser weapons, course. right. Of course. Of course. We perform the autopsy as soon as possible. Yep. Thank you, Tygen. We scan ahead. We get 50 supplies. We clear out this thing. We also get nine alloys. That is very, 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 very valuable. I want to build a workshop in that spot, which is going to require drumming up $50. Can I do that right now? Maybe. Let's hit the black market up really quick. It would be a huge help to get the workshop up right now, because I have one spare power. Building the workshop will give me another power, and then I can build the new proving grounds that cost one less power. But to do this, I would have to drum up $47. I do have three data pads, and I'm not going to have the time to research them all right now. 
So, although if I did research them right after lasers, that would be a great boost to expand to another territory. I think I could sell the Psy. It's only plus four. I mean, that's good, and I'm not going to need it for like a month or two. So let's go for that. I am going to I'm gonna do this. Let's, let's just find a way to make it happen. So Psy, let's do one Illyrium core. I think it was 47 and one... Could I do two faceless? I could actually exactly do that, but then we couldn't do the autopsy, which is probably fine because it's going to be a while. Although you can render them for Illyrium, but I think we're, I think we're okay. $47, fantastic. Back to the Avenger we go. And we throw in the workshop. Okay. So we assigned Samuk Pushkar down there. We have one person unassigned. Let's assign them to the AWC for now. Ding Bong Lei. It'll just cut off like a day and a half. Not like a huge difference, but whatever. More than zero. And then let's swing down here to Eastern Europe and scan. I don't even have a mission queued up, so... Looks like we have Danny Hamilton's done with focus fire, okay. Anything else, though, that we can train for officers? Uh, we could train some people. Do I want to train these random people? Is Amaral gonna be like an officer, technical? Maybe? I could always cancel it later, so for now, sure, let's go focus fire. I mean, it doesn't hurt to throw people in for the lower rank ones. Abdel has recovered from wounds. The AWC is now complete. Uh, let's go view the facility. Alright, I can start training people. Ooh, let's see what people got, Constantine. Sir, please get something amazing. Steady hands. Ever vigilance. Interesting picks. I really wish Constantine had the, um... I pray to get assaults with the lightning arc pulsar spec and then get steady hands. I pray for it. Unfortunately, Constantine is going mobility shotgun spec. Danny Hamilton, what's up with you, sir? Damn good ground. That's not bad if I was gonna br if I was gonna make you into a SMG shinobi. Fray tag, also damn good ground. I don't think that matters so much because you're going full on uh, Overwatch or whatever. Josh, Sprinter, Covert, neither of those really useful. That would be fantastic if I made him into, uh, what's it called? Snapshot. But that would be actually perfect. <laughs> but uh, Snapshot, I think even with Sprinter and Covert on with the Snapshot, it's still not as strong as DFA. So, why but Oh, me, what do I get? Close and personal, and ever vigilant. Interesting. Well, I think ultimately Constantine's the best bet. Let's go for ever vigilant. Will probably help a lot. And then we could like dash up to something, and if it moves, get an Overwatch shot against it. So, best move I feel. Do I want to assign our scientists? We have twelve days on laser tech. I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering. And three people heavily wounded. I think I do. What's what's the um? Please, Shen. Please. I thought I shut off noob tutorials. If we put Nuna in here, we're gonna cut off our science on lasers from 18 days to 12 days. No thanks. Not right now. I think we'll we'll survive with the three people out. A scanning, we will go. A new target. Please be good. It's over here. It's only less than four days. Can't do it. Looks like, looks like actually a UFO. That or live one again. It's very light regardless. Can't do it. Ooh, here we go. Something nice, please. Four days, four hours. This is probably Lib 1. It's extremely light. And we can't Intel boost it, but since it's, uh... I think I can, I think I can run this under-infiltrated just a little bit. Given that it's probably Lib 1, it's worth the Intel, and I think I can bring four half-decent soldiers, so let's gear it up. And here's the squad. It's gonna be a Danny a Freytag... Josh and me and that's gonna be it. This is gonna be a little dicey because we can only get up to 90% infiltration So we're gonna take at least one hit. It's probably gonna be 10 guys we're fighting, but I'm hoping That we get a half decent uh, ability to move like get in position to hack from range These are usually the easiest missions. It's just hack a computer. It's not hacking a van. It's not hack a train It's just hack so we should be able to do this 
I brought a bunch of smoke, a bunch of flashbangs, we can lock down the fort, we have some uh, med kits. What I really, really, really would like is to build some nanoscale armor and also tracer rounds, but I have no money whatsoever because I just invested heavily in that uh, workshop. I feel like, I don't know, I'm going heavy into the st strategic side of things, thinking that I can survive on tactical. We'll see if that's a smart move or not, but regardless, here's the squad, off they go. And we keep scanning. It would be really nice to do a lib chain in here. Another mission over here, 5 days, 21 hours. This is something we can do. Recover item from train. That's a bit more challenging though. But it is extremely light. It's 30 intel and an intel package. I cannot pass that up. Let's go gear it up. Oh wait. Um... Mm. Okay, hold on a second. So I just cancelled out because I needed to grab people. I needed to grab Russell out of here to have anyone to do these missions. I needed to grab Felipe over here. Uh, and then I got another mission that was the exact same thing, only better. So this is 30 intel, intel package, train, extremely light with 5 days, 20 hours. But this is recover item from facility, which is easier, hands down, extremely light, almost the same intel, intel package is 7 days. So let's do that one instead. That'll spread the vigilance out as well, because we have done a little, a few missions in India. So staying in Eastern Europe will at least keep the vigilance a little bit lower there. We'll go with Russell here, and then I think we'll go with- oh wait, never mind. I'm just gonna gear this up in return, I gotta cancel these guys out as well. And here's the squad, we have Amaral, a Constantine, a Russell, and a Felipe. God, he is looking very, very, very shinobi-like, if you ask me. I do have some weapon mods here I need to distribute. I think uh, Constantine probably needs a laser sight, so that'll help a little bit. Also, I've been having issues with him reloading or shotguns in general, let's give him an expanded magazine, I think. No one else is really gonna be shooting guns at all. This is ultimate burst team. We're gonna get in there, we're gonna activate with a rocket or uh, a flamethrower, then Constantine executes something, then we double slice, boom, we hack the thing and we get out. It's gonna be a huge amount of burst, we can over-infiltrate up to 152 if we needed to, probably won't have to, uh, and then, I haven't checked PCSs, do we actually have any new ones? Hyper-reactive pupils? I wanna give that to a ranger and none of them are rangers, so that's fine. Alright, this squad's good, off you go. Okay, and then we just scan o oh, nope, another mission we probably can't do unless it's a rendezvous. Eight days, eleven hours, but it's neutralized target. I don't want to do that. Let's just pass. That's fine. Let's scan ahead. Israel Lo Lobanov has been recruited in Eastern Europe. Okay, that's great. Let's put him also on recruits. Do we have any people we can put in here? No, they're all kind of wounded, rank too low. That's fine. I think we have just a day and a half until we get some more people. Mitch will be trained. And whoever else I was training. Ooh, a jailbreak. This is a good one, although it's very light. We have resistance personnel, resistance personnel. Another resistance personnel, that's three. And another resistance personnel, that's four. This mission is super worth doing. Unfortunately, there is no way I can do it. I just don't have the manpower. I would like to do it. It would really help to bolster what's going on in this region. I'm wondering if we should go into hiding to help reduce the vigilance. If I just put like everyone on hiding for a week, I can't do any missions anyway. So why don't I do that? Let's go full on hiding. Because now in 1.3, when you go into hiding, it does help reduce the vigilance in the zone a little bit faster. So I think rather than reducing it every four or every seven days, it, it should now be something like four days or maybe, I, I can't remember exactly the, it's been a while since I looked at the ratio. But having everyone on hiding means It'll reduce a little bit faster and help cool off our uh, our heat, as it were, in that zone. So we're gonna uh, skip that mission as well, unfortunately. You know, if I didn't have that squad wipe, I'd be in a lot better situation here. Tactical upgrades, center mass. Yep. Okay, that's a big issue. Center mass. Show active dark events. Tactical upgrades, center mass. Wow. Well, that's gonna probably cause a, a huge amount of 
issues hack a workstation to counter an unknown dark event very light 21 uh, intel can't do this one either i'd love to i have the opportunity this is worth a boost but a i can't afford a boost b i don't have a squad so whatever event that is it's getting through had the opportunity though if i didn't squad wipe mitch has squad sight at long last and wade anthony is here with light him up fantastic let's put them in as liaisons just for now put mitch over there we'll put wade anthony over here or actually, other way around. Either way, whatever. It's all fine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, it's not fine. I need to go queue up some more people to train. I always forget about that. So the deal was, Wilhelm wanted to be a ranger. We can make that happen. He has the aim for it. Great. I think it was Juan Pablo who requested one thing and one thing only for his class. That he die a glorious death. So what class can I make him that he would die a glorious death? Well, hmm. Or was that Victor Pang? Might have been Victor Pang. I can't remember. One of the two. Regardless, we have 75 aim on Juan. It only makes sense. That is a max roll aim. It only makes sense to train a sharpshooter. I have to do it. Uh, I need another one. It's, it's done. And away we go. Looks like we have a mission finally 89%. It's still extremely light. Very good. Hack the computer. 29 Intel. Lib 1. We can do this, even being guarded. Fantastic. All right, I'm looking forward to this. So when's we returning? My debut. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. We gotta start making an aggressive advance now. We push all these civilians out of the way, I hate them, we'll pop up Fortify, and then we'll toss a flamethrower at both of them perfectly, hitting both of their tiles, because somehow we're stepping backwards? Sure, I'll take it. Emerald, double burnination, please! Hit one, hit two, one is burning, and...